what's up guys welcome back to my channel today is my big day the nerve-wracking day the day i've been waiting for since january i'm finally testing it is a uh, nine eight or nine dpo for me um based on when i think i ovulated so i did do some ovulation testing which i'll go ahead and show you now so here's my ovulation test strips um i went and got an ultrasound done on cycle day 14 and my follicle was at 11 um so it wasn't mature at all but she told me to continue um or to start taking ovulation test strips to see if ovulation would occur and if it did just continue like a regular cycle so i didn't get a trigger shot or anything so i started testing on cycle day 15 um, which was negative cycle day 16 was almost looking like it was a positive test then i tested on cycle day 17 and saw it get lighter so i thought that this was a positive um but i continued testing because normally i do get a positive on cycle day 18 and this is clearly a negative test and then on cycle day 20 i just decided to test again um just because i think i was having cramping and stuff and then i got a positive ovulation test on cycle day 20 so we baby danced then so we baby danced on cycle day 20 so based on that i should be about 9 dpo right now um if i actually ovulated that day i don't know if i ovulated that day or the following day so i'm either cycle or i'm either 8 dpo or 9 dpo and dpo is days past ovulation if you don't know um and today i'm gonna test because um on my previous pregnancy i was able to test at 8 dpo and i got a very very faint positive on 9 dpo i got a full pink like a full pink line um and i used the wanfo test strips and that's what i've been using i put everything in a little bag a basket i mean and so um these are pregnancy test focusing okay yeah so here's the one whole pregnancy test that I'll be using um I haven't had to take one in a long time and we've been waiting since January to test um I'll link all my videos from the rest of the year explaining you know why we've been waiting all this time to actually start trying to conceive my hysteroscopy experience all that stuff will be listed in the description box but um yeah i'm nervous i have a pit in my stomach because i'm so nervous i've been trying to put it off i don't know i'm just so nervous uh, i already you know have my urine sample in the cup it's been here though for like an hour or so because i started talking on the phone to my friend trying to distract myself and calm myself down because I'm so freaking nervous. If you're watching this for the first time, you've never seen me before. A little bit of backstory, I've been trying to conceive for almost three years. Um, my husband is in the military and I had a miscarriage in January of 2016, 2017. I conceived in November 2016 with the help of Clomid and now I'm in a new duty station with a new fertility specialist and this cycle I use Letrozol. Um, that video will be in the description box as well and I'm freaking scared. Um, I'm scared because if I am pregnant then I know I shouldn't probably be, but I can't help it. I'm nervous about another miscarriage, even though I'll be doing progesterone. If I'm not pregnant, of course I'm gonna be a little frustrated, but it's okay. It's only my first cycle, and I know I didn't respond to the medication, so it's pretty much just doing this cycle as if I had no help at all. So that doesn't give me any hope. I do have polycystic ovarian syndrome, and I'm rambling because I'm nervous. 
um, but I opened up the test already so I will test and cover it up because I don't want to see it so let me get a piece of tissue yeah I'll wait I have to wait read the results in five minutes so um yeah again another thing I know a lot of people say they don't trust these um, to detect early pregnancy but um, when I did conceive, I was able to get a positive with this at uh, 8 DPO. It is, what time of day? It is 12.44 PM, so I'm gonna test. And if this is negative, I'll probably just wait maybe two more days and then test again. I'll try at least, because before I used to test crazy and I'm trying not to drive myself nuts. So here goes nothing. So. Okay, it is filling up. I'm gonna put it down and then cover it. Okay, it's 12.45, so at 12.50, I'll come back and check the results. Um, I'm prayerful, um, I'm nervous. I don't know, I just have so many emotions going on right now. I'm just so nervous. My husband is at work. Um, he has no idea that I'm even testing today. Um, yeah, I'm just so nervous. <sighs> my heart is racing. I have a lump in my throat, like I just wanna cry right now. And it's not coming out. And I'm not exactly sure. It's probably just my nerves. Lord Jesus, I just need to relax. I'm just sitting here rambling, sorry. I kind of feel like it's something and then I feel like everything is also something that could be attributed to my cycle coming, but I'm not really expecting my cycle until like, all right, so it's 12.50. I'm so freaking scared. My heart is racing, but I'm ready to see what is underneath this tissue, so. It's negative. It's definitely negative. Mm. I see people do this all the time, hold it up to the light. That does not work for me. I kind of feel like... I'm going to say this is negative. Um, I'm going to say this is negative. Um, but I kind of feel like it's something there. Um, I guess I'll check it in a couple hours, but... I'm gonna say it's negative and I'm gonna come back in two days if my cycle hasn't started to see if it changes um, but for now um I almost feel like it's a something very faint I'm not gonna trip myself out I'm gonna say it's negative I'm not gonna I'm not gonna so I will see you guys in a couple days and let you know if my cycle has started or if I'm testing again but pray for me in the meantime I'll let you guys know too if any changes have come Sorry, sorry. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not gonna look at it anymore. I'm gonna leave it alone. It's negative. I'm not gonna drive myself crazy. I'm gonna come back in two days and I'll let you guys know what happens then. But pray for me in the meantime. <laughs> pray for me in the meantime. That's all I ask. I'll continue to pray for you guys and I'll see you in the meantime. 
what's up guys so um i'm back like i told you it is two days later since my last um pregnancy test sorry if you hear the ac on and sorry if you hear the smoke detector going off i'm about to head out and get a new battery for that um but i wanted to come on before i left and i needed to take my test as promised today um i'm not really feeling too confident um yeah i haven't really had any symptoms here i'll try to shut the door one second door shut hopefully you don't hear the beeping anymore but um yeah i don't have any more symptoms or anything um the only thing this week that i've noticed is um i've been yesterday i was really irritable if you follow me on instagram you already know i was pissed with this lady in the gym and uh yeah, other than that though, last night I had a little bout of dizziness, um, but I think it's due to these heart palpitations and shortness of breath I'm having. I'm kind of feeling like I might be having little mini panic attacks. You're here for the pregnancy test, so let me get it. So I'm taking another Wampo test. Um, I'm not really expecting anything out of this. If anything does come of it, I'm gonna be completely shocked like um, just because I have no breast tenderness or nothing um, I've been tired but I wake up groggy and I think that's because my dreams have been so vivid lately but I have vivid dreams and so yeah I don't really associate that with um, pregnancy at all so um, we'll see after this test I probably won't test anymore i'll just wait for my cycle to start and if i didn't mention already today is cycle day 33 for me um so this letrozole just kind of threw things off because i've been having 28 day cycles for the last couple months and then i did this letrozole cycle and i'm at cycle day 33 with no signs of my cycle in the near future so let me just test so so the line is filling up and while that line fills up i'm gonna finish the rest of um my moisturizing routine so i'll be right back i just got a shower so excuse my ashy face so one second i'll be back uh, what time is it so i can test uh it is 12 42 p.m so it's not first morning urine Let's see what time it is okay it's 12 47 it's exactly five minutes and I'm ready to, to check so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be negative though and like I thought it was negative um, let me pull it up so you can see yeah it is really negative so let's see if it will focus there you go it's definitely negative um, yeah I'm not surprised um I was expecting it not really I already knew too and I think I already told you guys that I didn't even respond to the letters all so it was just pretty much me having a cycle you know on my own and we already know I have PCOS so that's just a struggle um so um now it's just a matter of waiting um, for my cycle to start on my next cycle I'll be doing 7.5 milligrams of letrozole from cycle day three to seven I think that's what it is I think it's cycle day three to through seven um, I'll see it when I pick up my prescription which I might just go and do today too so I can go ahead and have it um, I'll be doing gonna left injections as well with this next cycle um, because I responded to them pretty well on Clomid. Um, so, yeah, I am feeling pretty good um, considering. Um, yes, I am bummed. Yes, I am, you know, tired of seeing negative pregnancy tests. But I know this is my first um, cycle on letrozole and it's not very common for 
um, people to conceive on the first cycle of letrozole. I hear a lot of people say they conceived on the second and third cycle. Um, so I'm still hopeful. Um, I don't want to let myself get down. So um, yeah, I'm just going to spend my time just relaxing today. I'm not going to do pretty much anything but like watch TV and read. I'm not even going to the gym today. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna chill and take care of myself and try to relax. And um, yeah, that's all. So I thank you guys for tuning into this video though. <laughs> um, sorry, I don't have positive results, but hey, this is my journey. This is what my life has been like for almost three years now. And um, yeah, it's just a part of the process. I know it's going to happen one day. Um, would I like for today to be the day that I find out? Of course, but what can I say? I have to continue trusting and believing that God has everything covered. And um, yeah, I'm staying faithful. I am in pretty good spirits and it's kind of shocking because normally I do get myself worked up and then I'm all emotional and stuff but um I told myself this time that I wouldn't I wouldn't get too too and invested so that I could save myself some heartbreak and frustration too um, my husband still does not know that I've been testing because one I don't want to take him on the emotional roller coaster. Um, I told you guys my husband is in the military and um, yeah, he's stressed enough with work. Yeah, we have some challenges with the military and our trying to conceive journey coming up too. And so that's frustrating enough and I don't want to add to it. Um, so, so yeah, those are my results. Pregnancy test is negative. This cycle of letrozole failed and it's on to my next cycle. But if you guys have watched this far, make sure you click that thumbs up button, subscribe down below for more of these videos because who knows what this next cycle is gonna bring. And just come on along, join this journey, this madness, this craziness, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.